Hey everyone, it's Matt. Been a really long time since we did a Lego blog together, so we're gonna take a look at the Lego Harry Potter sets. Now we're gonna focus in on two sets specifically that are available at Best Buy. That is the Hogwarts Great Hall and the Whomping Willow. I just wanted to show off this one. This is kind of the granddaddy of them all. That's the uh, Hogwarts Castle that we're in the middle of building right now. It's over 6,000 pieces. That one is exclusive to the Lego store, I believe, but these two aren't. So what we're gonna do is over the course of this video, we're gonna build the Great Hall and we're gonna build the Whomping Willow. So let's open these up and take a look. We're gonna get started with the smaller of the two sets, which is the Hogwarts Whomping Willow. It's about 750 pieces. And as you can see, that's what it looks like once you're complete. Um, quick picture up here says that if you combine the Great Hall and the Whomping Willow, you'll get that. So that's basically what we're gonna end up with at the end of this build. And of course, once we combine it with Hogwarts Castle, it'll look even cooler. So you can see a few of the things that are there. Uh, let's open it up and we'll see how many bags and things are inside and we'll get started. All right, so I've taken everything out of the box here. So there are five bags of Lego, two instructions and a set of stickers included in these bags as well are six minifigs, including Filch the Caretaker, Snape, Seamus Finnegan, Hermione, Ron Weasley, and of course, Harry. Uh, five bags, a little bit of a far cry from this, which I think was something like 38 bags. And what you're looking at here is actually only half of it because my wife's just finishing the last half of it. Um, so I'm confident this one won't take 30 hours or whatever it took to build that one. Uh, and I'm sure it's going to look really good when it's done. So this is, I believe, the third foray for Lego into Harry Potter. They did one series of sets, I think, closer to the beginning of the movies, and they did one closer in the middle. I remember that there was a Diagon Alley set, and I know my wife's got a few of the original things, like the uh, the Night Bus and a few other things like that. Um, so this one just adds to the collection, and can't wait to see what this looks like when it's done. All right, so my wife and I have decided to team up on this one. I'm taking parts one, two, and three, uh, which are part of the first instruction manual. She's starting on four and five on the second instruction manual. So I'm going to start with the car, as well as Harry and Ron. Okay, so the car and Ron and Harry are done. I think that I actually that was really cool is this thing has a working trunk with hinges. It's really cool. On to the next piece. Okay, so the second complete part was the willow itself, and the car is actually going to sit up on top of this, just like that. One thing I did want to quickly show you, though, is that Hogwarts Castle itself oops, actually comes with a little mini willow for scale. A little tiny car as well. Okay, so I've added the Weasley car on top of the Whomping Willow, and I just wanted to show you as well that as you put this together, you put some moving pieces into there, so you can actually rotate this just like that. So here it is, the Whomping Willow set is complete. You can see all the minifigs, everything that's been set up. There's Hedwig there as well, in the classroom with Snape, and of course, as I mentioned, the willow itself that moves. And so we're going to get started on the Great Hall now. All right, now it's time to build the Hogwarts Great Hall. This is 878 pieces, and I think it's going to be a far more complicated build than the Whomping Willow. Just going to flip things over here. So this is what these two sets are going to look like once we've got them built. Not sure how long the Great Hall is going to take. Um, estimating, again, if you do the Whomping Willow by yourself, it'll probably take about two to three hours. Um, I'm guessing that the Great Hall is probably going to take that long. Not sure. It might take even longer. Anyway, let's open it up and take a look inside. Okay, looking here, it's about six bags of Lego, three base plates, and a fairly large instruction manual. Um, the thing I noticed is that this set's probably about twice the weight of the Whomping Willow. So even though there's only about 120 pieces more, um, probably a lot bigger pieces. So um, yeah, again, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably going to take about an hour or so more to build than the Whomping Willow did, but the Whomping Willow had a lot of really small pieces, and I think that's what made it really, um, th that's what sort of added to the time, because the 
Willow itself actually took uh, took a little while to build with all the gears and things like that. Anyway, um, time for bag number one. Quick progress update. I just wanted to show you what it looks like the first two bags through. So this is um, everything here in the first bag. There were some mini figures here of Harry and uh, Draco and uh, Hermione and Dumbledore as well as the sorting hat the boat and this is what the Great Hall looks like so far so you can see it's starting to take shape um, a couple chalices and food and so we're gonna move over to bag number three and this is where we'll start to put together the outside structure here's a quick status update through the first four bags so as you can see the structure is really coming along and in the last two bags we'll be tending to this side here as well as uh, the roof. As you can see, there's some really neat, really unique Lego pieces here throughout. A couple more mini figs done there. I'm just gonna flip it over on the other side here and show you what it looks like, but it's a little delicate just because these base plates are kind of only held together by um, a couple pieces. So I'm gonna shut the video off and flip it over. And here's the view from the other side. So let's get to those last two bags. So the Great Hall is now complete. And as you can see, this is what it all looks like from one side. And as I mentioned off the top, it's 878 pieces in all. And I'm just gonna quickly flash on screen all of the minifigs together. And then I'm just going to turn this over and show you um, the exterior wall. One thing that I had mentioned at the top of the video was that the two sets did connect together. And as you can see, um, the one wall here from the tower on the Great Hall and this part of the Whomping Willow cross section of um, Hogwarts do connect together. So I'm just gonna push them together and I'll show you what the product looks like when it's uh, connected. So here's everything as it's been connected together. And just a final tally of what everything looks like on this end here. So there's the minifigs from the Whomping Willow, as well as the Willow itself. And the last thing that I just wanted to show you is that Hogwarts Castle itself is now complete. You can just see how massive this build is here. And that's the mini Whomping Willow there from the Hogwarts set, as well as the mini Great Hall. And here are a couple of older Harry Potter Lego sets that we dug out as well. There's the night bus as well as the first Hogwarts Express. There is a new Hogwarts Express set with this generation as well as uh, in addition to a new Quidditch set. And there was a Quidditch set that was available with one of the older generations too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, in all, these two sets should probably take you about, I'd say six to seven hours to build. You need to give yourself maybe two to three hours for the Whomping Willow. A little bit more for the Great Hall. Uh, once again, this is 878 pieces. This is about 750. These are the two sets that are now available at Best Buy. Um, in addition to these two, there are some other sets like a new Quidditch set, a new Hogwarts Express set, the big Hogwarts Castle that I showed you that's about 6,000 pieces, and a couple smaller sets as well. Um, these all encompass the first wave of the new LEGO Harry Potter line. There's a second wave that's probably coming uh, from what I've heard maybe September or October. But this is what's available now. They were a lot of fun to build. Um, some pretty unique pieces, things that I haven't uh, seen before. And you'll see me talk a little bit more about it in the review itself. So you can find these now at Best Buy and uh, you can find the other sets uh, elsewhere. Uh, some are exclusive to the Lego store. Uh, but these are now available and uh, definitely worth picking up. So hope you enjoyed this review and we'll see you next time.